Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura and spools of thread have definitely changed over the years and the way to hold the thread onto the spools has also changed. The old wooden spools had a little notch cut out in each of the little spools so that the thread would fit into that little notch. Then the spools were changed to the plastic styles. They still had a little notch that was cut out so that thread would be kept. And it was only on one side because you didn't want it on both sides because you want the thread to come off of the spool on the side where the little notch is not. So if your thread is coming off of this way, it would get caught on that notch. So you need to have the thread come off on the end where there is no notch. Even still to this day, there are some thicker threads that have the little notch. Then there are little areas where the entire bottom is now open. You can see the entire bottom is open and it has this little ruffled edge. That little ruffled edge would be to catch the thread and then the thread is going to go in between that little ruffle and that top and you can twist it on and hold it and the thread will stay. When you look at some spools of threads, you won't really notice that they do have those little thread holders right in the bottom because you don't see the teeth. It's smooth on both ends and that way the thread can come off in whatever position that your machine likes it best to be in. However, you're able to separate the two layers at the top and the two layers at the bottom. You can see a little bit of a separation here and you can pull them out and you're able to wrap your thread and then close it. You don't have to open them. You can still take the thread and run it in between those two layers and the thread will stay secured. Some specialty thread will come on a little piece of plastic and a lot of times there is nothing to keep the thread on. So what I like to do is I like to cut my own little notch if it's not there so that I can keep my thread exactly where I want it and it won't unroll. If there's nowhere to put a notch, well, a good old elastic band will work. Then we have these little cones. You'll see a little separation between the top and a lot of companies will make it a different color. Coats is made a different color, it makes it very easy. And you will be able to just put that thread around and push it closed. Some are still on the bottom. And if you push the bottom, you will notice there's a little bit of a groove there that you'll be able to wrap your thread and then close it up. Some don't even open. You'll see the little separation and you can wrap your thread. Even sometimes the really big spools will have them. And they have this little notch right there in the bottom. So many different ways to keep our threads from tangling and thank goodness they have them. Thank you for joining me today on Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, Come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.